Yo what is going on guys and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be talking about the importance of having the right morning routine. So basically this video is going to consist of 5 tips of the right morning routine to actually have an efficient and productive day ahead. So basically you know those days where you wake up in the morning and you don't feel like doing anything and everything goes wrong and the day is actually bad. So sometimes that happens because you don't have the right morning routine. Most of the time that's the reason that your day gets ruined. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about 5 tips where that doesn't happen so you can prevent spoiling your entire day because of a few mistakes you made in the morning. So the first habit you have to follow every single day is wake up at the same time every day. So basically you have to start learning to go to bed at a particular time and wake up at the same time. So you're going to spoil the cycle if you don't make it a habit. Wake up at one time every single day. You have to go to bed at the same time every single day and you have to wake up at the same time every day. So the time can be fixed by you but it shouldn't cross like 12 am because that is a little late to go to bed. So like the time can be set by you falling asleep during the night and actually getting a good night's sleep is very important. It cannot be substituted by sleeping during the day. So yeah, that's basically the first tip. Fall asleep at the same time every day, wake up at the same time every day. So the second daily habit you need to have to actually have a good and productive morning is go over your daily plan after you wake up. So this is a very important thing like you, you have to make a plan for the next day on the previous night. So for example, if you're going to sleep, you sit for 15 minutes and actually make a plan of what you're going to do on the next day. Wake up the next morning at like 7 a.m. and review the plan and actually see what you have to do on a daily basis and then get started with your day. So there was a time in my life where I just used to wake up in the morning, I used to just rest, I used to do whatever I wanted to do and I used to waste a lot of time. So do not do that because it's going to spoil your day, you're going to reduce the efficiency, you're going to waste a lot of time if you end up doing that. So make sure you're going over your schedule once in the morning and actually planning out your day like 7am I'm going to go brush take a shot, get to breakfast by 8.30 and then go to work and then start working and you have to attend the video call for the day, all of that. And then you have to go to work out at like 11 a.m. You have to make sure you're reviewing your entire schedule so that you don't miss out on anything and so that you're actually doing what you have to do at the right time and not missing out on your day because you were, because you were unprepared. Because obviously you don't want to lose out on something because you were not prepared enough for the day, right? So. Make sure you're actually going through your schedule, prepare in advance and it's obviously going to do better for you. So the third daily habit I personally follow is eat a very heavy breakfast. So this is my personal routine. I have a very heavy breakfast like a few eggs and all of that and then I skip my lunch. I do not have anything. I just have a soup or a smoothie. Then I don't have anything in the evening again. And then I go directly for my dinner. So it's basically a breakfast and a dinner with some with a snack in the middle. So I like to keep myself light throughout the day so I can get so I can get as many tasks as possible complete without actually being very full and feeling lethargic and all of that. So according to me, if you have a heavy breakfast, you can skip out the entire day by just having a milkshake, by just having a juice, by having some soup. You don't need to actually stuff yourself on lunch and anything after your breakfast done. So I feel that's a very efficient way of going about your day. You don't need to take that one and a half hour lunch break which you usually take. You can just you can just have a smoothie and sit for 15 minutes and get back to your desk and work. So your day is more efficient that way. You don't feel too hungry because you did have a very heavy breakfast and you are having a smoothie and you are going to have your dinner earlier. So that's another good thing because if you do have your dinner earlier, you can go to bed earlier and you'll feel light while you're going to your, while you're going to sleep and you don't actually feel too heavy. Honestly, have a heavy breakfast, have a very very light lunch and have a decent dinner. I'm not asking you to have a heavy dinner, have a decent dinner. Honestly, you should try this out because if it does work, you can make it your daily habit to do this because it has worked for me. I tried it out for a week and I actually loved it. To the point that I didn't even have lunch today. I'm recording this video at like 4 p.m. and I haven't had lunch even today. So yeah, that's how I go about my day. So the fourth daily habit you have to follow to have a productive day is work out in the morning. I have spoken about this before and honestly working out in the evening is not as efficient as working out in the morning. So I used to work out a lot in the evening 
In fact, I still work out in the evening at times, but honestly, working out in the morning is much better than working out in the evening. It's very simple. Working out makes you feel fresh. So if you work out in the morning, you're going to feel fresh throughout your day. And when it comes to your dinner time, you actually start getting tired of the workout you did in the morning. So it's very simple. It, it first refreshes you and then tires you. So now if you end up working out in the evening, like at like 6 p.m. or something, you're gonna be you're gonna be very fresh when it's closer to your time to go to bed. So I suggest you work out at like 7 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning if you have to, so that you have a very productive and efficient day and you start to get tired right when it's time to go to bed. So I'm trying my best to follow this pattern because I've heard from a lot of people and I've read a lot online that this actually is much better than working out in the evening. But I'm used to working out in the evening and I'm too much in that zone of working out in the evening. But I have to change that and I'm trying my best to change that. So, so I suggest you guys also to try this because it makes a big difference in life. So the fifth daily habit which makes a big difference is keep your phone aside half an hour before you go to bed and half an hour after you wake up. So this is actually a secret formula not a lot of people know about but even if they do know about it they don't really use it and I try my best to implement all of this myself and I think I am almost to the point where I'm actually doing these things. So you keep your phone away at 10.30 for example if you're about to sleep at 11 p.m. Keep your phone away at 10.30 and actually do the second daily habit which is which is actually plan a schedule for your next day so use that half an hour use the half an hour 15 minutes to plan a schedule for the next day sit without doing anything for 15 minutes don't sit on your phone because of all the blue light rays you're not going to fall asleep it's actually going to keep you from falling asleep easier and a lot of people have problems falling asleep they take a lot of time to fall asleep and honestly the only cause of that is you using the phone so Keep your phone away in the night, have a nice peace of mind, do your own thing, make a schedule for the next day, think about what you have to do, think about all the plans you have for the next day, think about all the good times you had that day and yeah, basically go to bed without your phone, keep your phone aside for half an hour and when you wake up in the morning, do the same thing, go over your schedule, go over your schedule for that day but don't use your phone for at least half an hour, for a minimum of half an hour, if you can keep it away for longer than that, great, do not touch your phone at least for half an hour, you're going to feel a lot fresher and a lot more productive because when you open social media, the you first thing you want to avoid in the morning is look at somebody else's life and look at what they're doing. So there's only one thing that can happen that it's going to have a negative impact in your life because if you see somebody going for that dream vacation, you wanted to go for even during these times it's just gonna be negative for you and gonna cause a negative effect on you so stay away from that what I suggest is just go over your schedule have a glass of water get up brush your teeth have a good breakfast do all this with the phone aside no distractions focus on your day and your day is gonna be much more effective and efficient compared to before I want you guys to try all of these five daily habits and daily tips and let me know down in the comments how it works right for like two days if you are not able to go for too long, try it for two days and let me know down in the comments how this actually works for you. And if this video did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, my social media handles are in the description, Instagram and all of that, where I actually post motivational reels and a lot of other content. So make sure to follow me down there as well. And that's about it for today's video. Make sure you're following all of these daily habits and it is going to make a change in your life and it's going to make a positive change in your life. Thank you guys so much and peace out.